every time that you're fooling around. And I don't wanna wait around for your phone call. And the beat comes down every time that I hear that sound. And I don't wanna wait around, wait around. 'Cause I'm crazy for you. Welcoming to Max Inc. Radio, Christian Love. Christian, thanks for being here. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. Hello, everybody. Yes, we are so excited to talk to you. And I love that we are able to catch you while you are out on tour. And also the debut of your solo album is all of this happening at the same time, it feels like. It's all been going really well. We've been traveling a lot, and I think the summer has kind of like just gotten underway. Now, we just heard your song, Crazy For You. Tell us yes. about this song. This is a song I think I wrote maybe about three years ago out on the road, and it was about my girlfriend being a little bit lonesome out on the road and wondering uh, what she's doing and this and that. It's one of those kind of songs. It's just kind of like sort of a love song, but sort of sad, but sort of happy too. And I love that anybody can kind of read into it whatever they want for their own sort of personal yeah. message too that's a good song and that's a good song writer so way to go on that um i want to mention that yes you are on tour and you are out with the beach boys hmm wonder why that is there might be some lineage there i don't know yeah if if our listeners have ever heard of mike love that would be your dad and he's one of the original beach boys do right. they actually get a chance to play any of your songs or are you on tour to really help support them? Well, yes, definitely on tour to support my dad's music and his legacy. But also, he's given me the chance to play one of my own songs in the set. That's got to be so exciting. Tell me about how this feels, though, with the debut of your solo album. It's called Only Alibis. It feels, it feels great. I just had such a good time recording all these songs. And, you know, some of them were formulated during the pandemic. I had lots of time to sort of zone in on songwriting because we had a lot of spare time on our hands, as you yeah. remember. It was real natural progression of songs. And I got to get in the studio in Pasadena and basically re-record the stuff that I recorded a bunch of the instruments um, to basically to make the record sound better and more, more analog. 
I've, I've been lucky and I've been able to hear quite a few of the songs. Obviously, we just played one and we're going to play another, but I think the album is terrific. You should be really proud of it. Thanks. It's fun to hear about these songs, too. But I want to ask you a little bit about your backstory. You know, you grow up the son of Mike Love of the Beach Boys. Do you decide, I want to be a musician when you're a little kid? Uh, I think when I decided I wanted to be a musician was in high school, watching MTV. <laughs> when they play videos. Yeah, they play videos. Yeah, I really got inspired by a lot of the 80s bands, a lot of the 80s new wave bands. I started wanting to write songs myself. And here you are. Here I am. That's amazing. So what would you do if you weren't a musician? Did you have a backup plan? <laughs> oh, that is a very good question. And I really didn't have a good solid backup plan. So I'm, I'm glad this panned out for me. I was always really into sports, so it's possible that I could have. But I think this is definitely, uh, for me, a more idealistic route. So uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear that the Beach Boys and your dad, that you get to play one of your songs with them. But do yes. you have a favorite Beach Boys song? That's a hard to choose. But if I, I think if I had to choose one, I would say the most well-crafted, in my opinion, is Ooh. Wouldn't It Be Nice? And, you know, the crowd always instantly, as soon as you play the, the intro riff, is like always so so soon to stand up and dance. And if there's one song that gets the party started, I would say it's Wouldn't It Be Nice. What does it feel like to be out there with your dad? I mean, this is something kind of rare, I would have to say. Not everybody gets to experience something like this. I agree. I, I think it's it's been a great way to really connect with my dad. Because um, for a good portion of my life, I was doing my thing at home and he was out on the road. So this has just been a great way to uh, get closer and to be able to spend more time with, with my dad, which has been really great. You are at a venue for a show right now. What what uh, venue are you at? And uh, has it been a little while? You guys had a little bit of a break, so you're getting back out there. But where are you right now? I see a sign that says Naxted. We're in Virginia. Yeah, we don't always know our schedule. We just kind of go, go with the flow. But um, it's a beautiful venue. You have a tour stop coming up in Wisconsin, in Green yes. Bay, on July 11th. And I know people are going to go bonkers over you guys. Yes. Well, you'll know you're in Green Bay because you'll be able to see Lambeau Field from the venue where you're playing. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's only about a block away, so that'll be a lot of fun. Is there anything I didn't ask you that you want to add? Uh, we got another album that's coming out. We're just kind of waiting what? patiently. To... Yes, another album coming out. My website is christianloveofficial.org. I'm on Christian Love Official on Instagram and basically all of the streaming platforms the album's out on. Do you do, do you try to keep your days as normal as you can while you're on tour? And I don't even know, what does that look like? What is normal on tour? Yeah, normal on tour, we usually try to get together to get a little workout in. You know, we usually leave anywhere between nine and noon. We basically spend our three or four hours on the bus. Then we'll get to the venue like we just did right now, and we'll hang out. I am very lucky talking with Christian Love right now. And, of course, Christian has his own music out, but he is also the son of Mike Love, one of the original Beach Boys, and he is on tour with them right now. Christian, we're going to end this interview with uh, Some, Some, Summer. I yeah. mean, this song does not get better for the summertime. Tell me about this song. This song was a a song that I recorded after a session in Pasadena. This song started going through my head. I laid the music down and then I just started firing off some words. And these are actually the first first words that I came up with. I didn't change them at all. <laughs> the, the two verses that I wrote, I just wanted to get it down before I forgot about it. I mean, and it, it's hitting at the right time with summertime. I agree with the video and everything, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell us about the video. I guess you had a little help on it. A little help. A little help from uh, Full House. <laughs> that John Stamos guy. Yeah, that's John Stamos guy. Why don't I just ask John to <laughs> help produce this video? I called him up and asked him, and he was totally game. He was on board. We will share the song with the video on our socials so everybody can get a peek at it because it's just so much fun.
Oh, thank you so much. I really Absolutely. Appreciate it. All right, Christian. I'm going to say goodbye to you for now. And uh, we are going to hit it here with some, some summer. You are listening to Max Inc. Radio. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Some, 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 some